ericmothertmother.com for the weekend of November 4th and November 5th, 2017. Let's take a look at markets here. We're going to be taking a look at the major U.S. indices and towards the tail end for paid subscribers. We're going to be taking a look at some commodities, take a look at gold, take a look at biotech and financial space. We'll also take a look at Bitcoin ideas and we'll take a look at some breakout ideas and also one or two markets worldwide that look to be turning down in other words some world markets that are already giving us some sell signals so let's go straight to it here we begin with the u.s markets of course with about an hour and a half to close before the end of the week this is how markets are trading let's begin by taking a look at the nasdaq weekly and on the nasdaq weekly here we can see it has refused to drop below 69.1 and even the shallow pullback here was not enough to stop the market the market recovered immediately closed higher for the week in fact we've had six back to back to back to back positive gains and as long as the market is trading above 69.1 on the weekly we know that markets should be sideways at the very worst bullish at best don't forget that on the monthly, of course, we know that the NASDAQ continues to trade above 69.1. And if you take a look here at about six years of monthly data, you can see ever since we moved above 69.1 on the R on the monthly RSI for the NASDAQ, we've gone on a market that has had only one shallow down month for the entire 2017 trading year. So that's that's a characteristic of a market that is holding above 69.1 so as long as we are on the nasdaq here the nasdaq is showing a fresh breakout on the daily and also the nasdaq is back above the 69.1 threshold that is a sign of a very strong market in fact if you zoom in so this is one one year of daily data let's take a look at a closer view and here with a zoomed in version this is three months of daily data and we can see that from a daily view this close we see that now we are staging a fresh daily breakout for the nasdaq so given that we know the breakout level so for the nasdaq as long as it continues holding above six seven two seven point six seven which goes back to this daily close this is a fresh breakout so anything above this price is pretty much suggesting that the market continues higher now that it has had two days of rest and break is breaking out now of course we can also use the same price if short term we see the nasdaq moving back below this price and closing below it that would suggest a failed breakout so for now because the market is breaking out we have to conclude that at this rate as long as markets above this prior daily closing high that we are still in a market that is very strong and should continue trading higher now all these are the positives from the market or takeaways if you're bullish if you take a look at the Dow Jones and you begin again with the monthly chart for the Dow and like the Nasdaq the Dow has only had one shallow down month for the entire 2017 year and we can see the strength of the rsi in other words once the rsi moved above 69.1 in late 2016 this market has been pretty much grinding to the upside and recently picking up momentum so no surprise there if you take a look at the weekly the weekly continues to confirm this ongoing strength and again this pickup in momentum is a characteristic of a market that is holding above 69.1 and you can see other periods over the last couple of months where the market was trading above 69.1 for example from here to here the market had a nice run because it was above 69.1 and again we had a period where the market held above 69.1 from here to this period here and during that entire period we had a very strong monthly pickup in momentum or weekly pickup in momentum so as long as the Dow continues to hold above 
69.1 we know that markets are pretty much suggesting that they are still very strong with more potential upside now keep in mind generally speaking and i spoke about this in a recent video even if the market was to pull back make a lower high and then start drifting lower even if the rsi does not show strength down the road prices are still going to make an improvement so there's a theory that i believe makes more sense that even with a pullback this is not the high the market is potentially going to have to make a higher high at some point in other words we are going to have to see evidence of improvement in prices while the technicals decline it is the future negative divergence in the rsi that will set the stage for a strong pullback right now even with a pullback we haven't seen negative divergence on the weekly for the Dow, suggesting that down the road in the coming weeks and months, even with a pullback in between, at some point, I think the market has a good chance of recording higher highs because it's the highs it's going to make down the road with declining technical strength that is going to give the biggest sell signal. So right now, we don't see evidence of that. Market continues to be strong. You take a look at the Dow daily. We can see that periods where the market has been bullish over the last year has been periods where the RSI was trading above 69.1 on the daily. You only get any type of a shallow pullback when the market moves back below 69.1. And here we can see another period where the Dow was very bullish day to day because the RSI was above 69.1 until here and another period here where it was very strong day to day until it moved back below the 69.1 threshold and so right now we are in the midst of a movement and we've been holding above the 69.1 threshold so of course we know that within this construct where the dow is trading above 69.1 on the daily rsi this market should continue being strong and that is exactly what has been taking place now same conclusion with the s p 500 so we can save some time here s p 500 on the monthly continues holding above 69.1 on the weekly spx continues holding above 69.1 so we know that while it is above 69.1 we can expect even higher prices if not potentially an extension or an acceleration of the current move as long as the rsi is above 69.1 it might actually be that the market goes on a hyperbolic finish to this current movement take a look at the daily and we can see s p 500 after slight a shallow pullback a very shallow pullback here back below 69.1 it is moving back above the 69.1 threshold as we come towards the end of the trading week so here also on the s p 500 we are moving back above 69.1 that's a sign of a strong market as long as it stays above that value and if we zoom in you'll see that the s p 500 is also breaking out on the daily just like the nasdaq and here we have a three months daily chart if you take the recent daily closing high we traded below that daily closing high but as of friday this is a fresh breakout for the s p 500 and the number to watch there is two five eight one point zero seven in other words as long as we are trading above this number that's a fresh breakout indication of fresh momentum at the same time we can also set an alert if we see that the s p 500 is failing to hold this price in other words a failed breakout might be a sign of a market that is now ready for a pullback but since we haven't seen that break of that number as long as we are trading above this price as we are we have to assume that the market continues to be sideways at worst bullish at best now if you're looking for reasons why the market should start showing a pullback evidence we can find this on the hourly now this is true for pretty much this is the s p 500 Let's take a look at the nasdaq and they're pretty much the same that's the nasdaq 
and let's take a look at the Dow and what you see here is all of these are showing potential for negative divergence that's the Dow showing potential for negative divergence so if you're looking for some signs of impending bearish situation it's, you can see this on the hourly and take a look at the S&P 500 you can see we've been making an improvement to fresh intraday highs but this has come at the expense of this RSI line which as you can see as of right now with about an hour and a half to go before the close the market still has to move above this line if there's going to be a surge higher so this negative divergence this look of a negative divergence could be the initial signs that eventually this market pulls back but keep in mind that's really stretching it because ultimately as long as the daily for the markets are above 69.1 the weeklies are above 69.1 and the monthlies are above 69.1 you're fighting a lot of very strong energy to the upside so while we are trading above 69.1 for example on the monthly we can expect shallow pullbacks but don't expect a big drop in the market until the monthly chart drops back below 69.1 and we can see that on the 30 minute for the S&P 500 there's a line here that is being back tested the previous support line so we broke below here of those highs back below the line of those intraday highs back below the line of those intraday highs and here we seem to be back to test that line so the S&P 500 on the 30 minute and also on the hourly chart is where we start seeing signs of a market that could be running out of energy also based on the 30 minute top side resistance on the RSI is showing that the market is coming back to test this line and maybe the hourly and the 30 minute charts are where you can find evidence of potential market hitting some type of a wall but keep in mind right now it's very difficult to determine whether it's a major high or not because remember at some point we're going to have to see evidence of negative divergence for the S&P 500 again market pulls back RSI pulls back RSI recovers slightly market goes to higher highs now that negative divergence is what we would look for down the road for a potential big top right now we don't see that we only see evidence of shallow pullbacks for now hope that all makes sense in other words it's a strong market until down the road when we see some major market either the monthly the daily or the weekly show us negative divergence now that concludes the free portion of this video have a great weekend ahead and uh, for subscribers let's for paid subscribers to mother.com let's continue on so that's it for now i'm not sure i'll be able to send this before the close of the session but i'll process i will edit this process it and send it to you but i'm not sure there's enough time so you might get this after the close but the ideas are still gonna be valid this is how markets are shaping up with about 40 minutes to go eric mother's mother.com enjoy your weekend and as always, good luck, peace and...